Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Let us meditate in the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, whoever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude 
on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and words, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Domine, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is November 9, the Feast of the de Dedication of St. John Lateran. The anniversary of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, which was erected by the Emperor Constantine, has been observed on this day since the 12th century. This feast was at first observed only in Rome, but later, in honor of the Basilica, which is called the Mother Church of Christendom, the celebration was extended to the whole Latin Church. This action was taken as a sign of devotion to and of unity with the Chair of Peter, which, as St. Ignatius of Antioch wrote, presides over the whole assembly of charity. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your, your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the Bridegroom of His Church. Come, let us worship Christ, the Bridegroom of His Church. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, the Bridegroom of His Church. The Lord is God, the Mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock, his shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, the Bridegroom of His Church. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the Bridegroom of His Church. Forty years I endured the generation. I said, they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the Bridegroom of His Church. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the Bridegroom of His Church. My house will be called the house of prayer. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. 
For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, and you I muse through the night. For you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, in your holy temple. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Praise the Lord in the assembly of His holy people. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Receive our prayer. You are seated at 
the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. Let us pray. O God, who, who were pleased to call your church the bride, grant that the people that serve your name may revere you, love you, and follow you, and may be led to you to attain your promises in heaven. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east, the water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is a refuge in our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of the dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. Our reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? 
If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy the person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned the tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take this out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of Scripture, Seal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign you can you show us for doing this? He answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered what he had said to this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ngayon, gaya nang narinig natin celebration, dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. So, edificio. Oh. Alam nyo, maraming namimiss gayong pandemic. Tingnan lang natin itong manawag. Kahit pa mula nung seminarista kami na pumunta rito, Naging pare pagdating ko rito. Alam niyo ba, dalawang bagay lang ang naririnig kong reklamo nila sa Manawag. Hindi, wala silang reklamo kay Mama Mary, ha? Kaya nga silang pupuntaan dito dahil kay Mama Mary ang Manawag na bubuhay dahil sa simbahan na ito. Totoo yun. Ang reklamo nila, una noon, mainit. Totoo naman ang Pangasinan, isa sa pinakamainig na parte ng Pilipinas napanon na problema yan. Pangalawa, maingay daw noong una. Maingay sapagat, naalala ko, from 5 o'clock to 12 o'clock, sa sahapon, punong-puno tayo ng tao. Alam ko yung pasilyo niyan, wala ka, ma hindi ka pwedeng makabalik doon, no? Siksi ka na, <laughs> standing room, yung upuan, may nagkakalo, kinakalong na nila yung mga bata. Pero, eh, ang ganda, yun ang nakakamiss. 
Of course, kaya hindi naman namin kayo namin, whiskey sikit-sikit ang kita namin, ang dami-dami yung dumarating, lalo na ngayon medyo maluwag, talagang hindi kami ka naniniwala na ganun ang tao, kung kano kalaga ang simbahan ang manawag. Kaya nga sabi, may nagtanong sa akin, Father, hanggang kailang kaya yung ganong attitude ng mga Pilipino sa manawag, sa simbahan nyo? Sabi ko, hindi nagbabago. Kaya nga sabi ng ano, sabi ng teacher, teacher namin sa, sa Bible, bakit naman nagalit sa Jesus? Kasi kahit yung alam ng mga tao, Siguro yung temple sa Jerusalem, isa lang siya. At doon nagpupuntaan ng mga tao. Nagalit siya sapagkat ang mga Hudyo, alam nila na this house is a, is a holy ground. Bakit nagkaroon ng kalakalan? Matatalino yung mga Hudyo. Hindi ka lang basta papasok, magdasal, papabules doon sa mga, hindi, mga pare noon. Kundi, kailangan dagdagan mo. May alay ka. Oh, kita mo na. Ngayon yun nung, nung, nung nag-inalay si Jesus, presentation of temple, hindi, may dala sa lang turtle doves. <laughs> eh, siyempre, siya kukuha nun, bibili nun sa labas. Kaya yun, doon nag-aalit ang Panginoon naging marketplace. Tayo naman hindi tayo marketplace. Nasa labas siya, ang marketplace ito. Kitang-kita sa labas, naingay tayo bagulo. Ngunit dito, yun ang kapagtataka. Kaya nga sabi ko, Gaya ng mga ibang simbahan na dadalaw po, nakapagmisa po, totoo nga na kumisan, inag-iisa na yung pare, kawawa pa yung simbahan. Una-una, kapain nyo yung ilalim ng kukuha nyo. Kapag merong bubble gum dyan, malaki <laughs> kaulugan niya. Ito na madumi na yung simbahan. Kaya kung tiyan pumunta, how much more kung yung pare tamad in quotation mark. Laging siyang nasusunod. Eh, ganoon talaga. Pero kung masib, ang pare, alam nyo, sino bumubuhay? Yung mga tao. Eh, hindi niya na kailangan ng janitor, hindi niya na kailangan ng bulaklak para dekorasyon sa mga altar. Pusang yung tao ang gumagawa ng paraan sapat sila rin ang makikinabang. Kaya nga minsan may bisita ako ng tatanong, Father, oh, of course, yung init, medyo nabawas-bawasan ah, dahil doon sa mga helikopter natin, no? Ngunit may tanong sa akin, Makaya, ano ba yung ginagawa nyo dyan? Bakit napakarami yung ginagawa? Siyempre, hindi alam ng tao siguro pununay ng anay. Gusto nyo bang mabagsakan kayo ng anay dahil lang sa giba-giba na hindi natin kayo paggawa. Kita nyo, bakit nagagawa? Dahil sa tulong nyo, naiintindahan nyo. Kung mag-iba ito, saan kayo pupunta ng simbahan ng manawag? Wala. Unless mag-construct tayo ng bago, eh, iba yung original, di ba? Kapag kinabang at alam natin na kaya minamahal natin ang simbahan. At higit sa lahat, hindi lang na siguro napapansin ng karamihan masisipag po ang ating mga pare. Kahit na masungit, soplado, pero masisipag. Yan ang pinag, pinagmamalaki namin, no? Kahit o oh, gudugod na iba, sige pa rin, no? Laban pa rin. Kaya yan ang kasiyahan na nakikita natin dito sa Basilika. Kaya hindi natin basta pababayaan ng sa ganun, yung mga darating na herenrasyon, eh, lalong pakikinabangan. Hindi ba na, katulad, sabi nga, 2020, hindi pa tayo nakapunta sa ibang lugar, napakaganda nga ng simbahan, ginasasa ng malaki, wala namang tao. Bakit? Kasi, wala namang pare, wala namang mimisa, wala nang interesadong pumunta, kasi iba ng lifestyle. Eh, tayo ganun, hindi. Sapagkat nung naalala pa, no? Never, kung wala sanang pandemic, yun ang problema natin ngayon. Paano maglinis, para mag-ano, kasi punong-puno ito noon, no? Ang ingay, hindi nakaka-disturbo sa pare kapag siya nagsasilita. Sapat ang ingay na yun ay ingay ng mga kabataan. 
yun ang kakamis, no? yung mga kabataan na nagsisimba. Kasi sila ang nagpapatunay na irespeto ang simbahan. Kapag nakikita ang bata, no? pupunta dyan sa labas o pupunta sa simbahan, sasabihin mo, anak, ano yan? Sabi niya, andyan ang Diyos. Ganun lang siya na sabi na, well, hindi sila sabi na, ay, sinihan niya, no? Hindi. Kapag nakakita sila ng simbahan, nandyan ang Diyos. At totoo naman natin. Di ba? Sapagkat sa loob ng simbahan, dyan natin lahat ng grasya na pwedeng ikalakas ng ating pananampalataya pananampalataya ay dyan nakukuha o natatanggap. Ngunit, gaya na nga sinabi sa second reading, huwag natin kalilimutan kahit ang tunay na simbahan ay yung sarili natin. We are all the temples of God. Sapagkat kung wala tayo biglang nagbago na isip, eh, hindi na niwala sa Diyos, ayun na. Patay ng simbahan. Ngunit, sa pagpapatuloy, sabi ko nga, gayahin natin yung ugali ng mga bata. Walang kamuang-muang. Hindi pa itinuro sa kanila sa school lang kasi di pa naman pumapasok. Pero once tinanong mo siya, nandyan ang Diyos. Yes. Tanong yung anak nyo, kurbahan nyo. Yun ang sasagot nila. Kapag ilapit yung siguro dyan sa may gate, kung sa sebang party na makakita, ay, dyan ang nandyan ang Diyos. No? Totoo. Kaya yun ang nagbibigay, uh, sabi ko nga, nagpapatunay, you know, na yung ugnayan ng tao at ng Diyos ay kailanman hindi mawawala. Sapagkat nandyan talaga, nagpapatunay, nakikita, na kahit na sabi ko nga, yung gaya ng bata, di pa naturuan kung sino ang Diyos, ano ang Diyos. Ngunit kapag nakita nga niya yung kahit na yung simbahan, alam niya may Diyos. Of course, yung siyempre na kasimple lang na experiences natin sa bata, bakit may Diyos, kaya tayo buhay. No? Kaya nagpapasalama tayo na talagang merong Diyos na nagpapatuloy na tayo ibigyan sa araw-araw. At iyon ang hindi natin, uh, sabi nga, kalilimutan, no? Iyon ang biyayang tinatanggap natin na walang kabayaran na hinihingi sa atin sa, ng Diyos, kundi ipagpatuloy natin ang ganong, ganong mga adikain sa buhay nang sa ganon. Hindi lamang tayong nakikinabang, pati na yung mga darating pang panahon na, na sa, kumbaga sa atin, siyang ipinamana rin naman sa atin at yun rin ipapamana natin. Kaya yun ang nagsabi ko nga, nagbibigay sigla at nagbibigay kulay. Hindi ko na nga, huwag na natin sabihin, we are proud of it, kaya 500 years na tayong Christianity. No? Hindi naman binabasihan yung PETSA, hindi naman binabasihan yung ano, oras, kundi ang patuloy na uh, pag uh, pananampalaya o paniniwala na ang Diyos ay laging umagabay at sa atin lahat. Kasi tayo pa tayo. My brothers and sisters, our Savior dwells within a living temple of His Church. A baptized, per, a baptized people gathered around the success of St. Peter. We pray to our Father inspired by the Holy Spirit. After his petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the universal church may grow in unity and faith through our fidelity to the Pope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that nations may live in peace and avoid vindictiveness and rivalry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may demonstrate our faith by the way we care for and use this church building let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, 
relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines, and for brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Peñacourt. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Father Theodoro Glock, who is celebrating his birthday today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may become living stones in the eternal temple. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you raise the body of your Son, the glorious temple of the resurrection. As his visible body and temple on earth, we offer our prayers to you, hoping to share in the same resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that it may, that it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacrament and the answer to their prayers through Christ O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your bene benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer, in order to perfect it is perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of, of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the Church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that, rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with the old angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
make holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and it of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Pain We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you Therefore, as to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis is our St. Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Are the Savior of men and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Receive us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace is a grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Yes. Let us recite the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything, who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities He knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving, and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs, and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow. For tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him 
with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please all stand. Zacchaeus hurried down. I mean to stay with you today. He hurried down and welcomed Christ with joy. For this day, salvation had come to his house. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Zacchaeus hurried down. down. I, I mean, mean to stay, stay with you today. today. He, he hurried, hurried down, down and welcomed Christ with joy. With joy. For this, For this day, day salvation, salvation had come, come to his house. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of, of your glory. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Maraming po salamat sa pagdala nyo at pagkikisa sa misa. Ingat lang po sa pagkwe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. For, for the blessing of the sick, hindi lamang po tayong humihiling na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman o umiwas, makaiwas sa mga sakit na dumarating. Isama na po natin yung mga nasa bahay, lalo na yung mga senior citizen, no? Nakakarating po yan sa kanila bilang pagmamalasakit natin sa kanila. Basta maniwala po kayo. Salamat po. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the true knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries in other religious articles. If you have them with you, just bring them out. Do not leave your place. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Banawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.